Hi guys, happy Friday. Well, as you can see, we have my hutch behind me, which we are gonna style for spring today. It is a blank slate in which to work with. And what I wanna share with you today is, a lot of people say, oh, Tuscan is out of style. Tuscan style is out. Guess what? No, it's not. Because I'm gonna show you how to bring it to current. Um, when you think of Tuscan style, you think of earthy, warm, colors, you know, the red painted walls or the yellow, dark, mustardy painted walls with uh, heavy, you know, pottery in ironwork or metals and rustic, um, all that kind of stuff. Yes, that is the Tuscan style of the past. I'm going to show you how to bring it to current using lighter, brighter pieces, adding greenery to lighten it up. And we are going to mix it with farmhouse and French country so that it all goes together. And so for all of you Tuscan gals out there, this one is for you. And I just wanna show you how you can use your pieces that you love so much. I know there's a lot of people that are like sick of farmhouse because it's, it's too much white. As much as I love farmhouse, I'm on the same side as you. I'm kind of like, eh, I love farmhouse, but give me some color. This is gonna show you how to keep your Tuscan, keep some of that farmhouse, but bring it to current. So let's get busy. Okay, so I kinda need to roll here and go fast because it's like 11.30 and my water system people are gonna be here soon, so I gotta get busy. But I'm gonna give this a quick spray down and then we'll get to work. Always, always start with a clean, Slate, clean dusted tables, clean everything. Okay, almost done here. Done. Okay guys, this hutch is what I would sort of consider a Tuscan style hutch because it's dark wood, it's a heavy, big, substantial piece of furniture, and it has these little scrolly pieces which were so popular when Tuscan style was in. But I'm gonna show you how to lighten this piece up without having to paint my furniture to make it farmhouse style because we can bring the farmhouse and still use the dark wood. So what I have here is a white tobacco basket. I got this at Hobby Lobby. This is farmhouse style. So I think this is gonna help lighten things up. So I'm gonna place this right in here. And actually I'm gonna place it a little off center. And then I've got this really pretty platter here. I got this at Hobby Lobby years and years ago when Tuscan style was in and it's just been sitting in my storage room for years. And this is the perfect opportunity to bring it out and show everybody Tuscan is back. It's back with farmhouse and French country. So we can merge the three together. So I'm gonna place this right here, just like this. So this is a little off center, and then this is just slightly angled ever so lightly and now i'm going to go get another piece okay now i've got this piece that matches that platter hello does that not say tuscan so i'm just going to set this kind of like right there love it love it isn't it cute pops of color now let's work on this bottom shelf. And I've got this, see, this is white. So I would consider this kind of farmhouse or French country, but um, I'm gonna just set this right here. And because this is heavy right here, I'm gonna go to this side so it's not super heavy all on one side. Then I am going to add this little pedestal, I got this at Michael's, 
and another little Tuscan piece. And all, this had a lid to it, but it broke in our move. So garden ball. I'm telling you guys, these are so versatile for everyday decor or spring. But I'm just gonna set it on this, just like that, and set it right there, just a little bit off center. And then, y'all remember when I hauled this sign? It says Delish. I am gonna set this in here like that. Isn't that cute? So we've got the white here with white here. And then we've got this plant and yellow. It's all tying in together, so cute. Check it out. Let's do the top middle shelf now. All right guys, up next on this for this top shelf, I want a kind of a big substantial piece in the center of it. And I love this wreath for spring, you guys. It's so pretty. Remember, I got this at Home Goods on clearance. I think it was like six bucks. I was like, steal of a deal. But look at it. It's just so pretty. And so, let's see. I'm going to put this right up here. I'm short challenge, people. Let's put the lights on. Okay. Let me scoot it back. Can you guys see? As if you can answer. There we go. Okay. So I've got the wreath. And now we need a chicken and a topiary. Y'all see where I'm going? It's French country or farmhouse. And let's set you right here. And then I've got this cute little topiary. And we'll just set this one here. Isn't that cute? I am loving this. So there's that. Now let's work on this side. So let me put you here and go get some more stuff. Okay guys, I hauled this for you just recently. This is one of my little Christmas gifts. Got this at Hobby Lobby. All I did was bend a stick and stick this in here. It says, what does it say? Vintage since 1975. And I love this and I'm gonna put this right here. And I want the vintage in the 1975 to show. This is just to add some texture. I think that looks cute. And now this piece right here is very special to me. This used to be my mom's. And um, she had it in one of her kitchen windows. And I just love it. And it says biscotti. And I think it's perfect for spring. It's got lemons on it at the top. And... So, I'm going to put this up top. I think that looks pretty cute. Now, let's do the bottom. So, I need to point you down. So, I have this cute little arrangement. I think this was from Raz. $7.98. Cute. So, I'm just going to put this right here. And then I've got this little cow. French country or farmhouse. See, isn't that cute? Oh, I love it. It's just looking so adorable. All right, let's do this side. I gotta hurry because this guy's gonna be here any minute. So let's, What I have here is another canister. It mimics that one that's right there, but it's larger. So what I did was I took the lid off and then I've got my greenery and I'm just sticking this in here. I mean, it's pretty and it adds visual interest. You have to play with it though, but I'm gonna put this, hope you guys can see, let me drag you over here. Let's 
see here. What I'm gonna do is just place this here, make sure the greenery looks pretty, and then I'm gonna set this right beside it. I think that looks pretty. All right, now let me go get my other piece. So now I've got this old Toscano platter. It's got lemons and pears and apples. It's pretty and grapes. And I'm just gonna set this on this little plate holder right here. And then I'm gonna set this pear kind of like right beside it. Put that a little off center as well. And just three more things. And this is where my French country and farmhouse comes in. Again, another pedestal from Michael's. And then here's that little plant that I got at the antique store. Let's see which side looks cute. Yeah, like this. So now, sorry, this is not working out. My hands are full. I'm gonna put this up here. Just like that and put my little cow right next to it so this cow I have a cow a cow there and then I've got a cow right there so let's stand back and look at the work we've done here let me go open those so you can see it all how cute for spring. I'm in love with it, guys. I'm in love with it. Let me know what you think. So just to recap, we've got a wreath, a, um, a, oh, I can't even see, a chicken, topiary. We've got a tobacco basket, a platter, and then a little Tuscan canister. Down here, we've got a sign that says delish, um, and then another little canister with a garden ball, and then we've got a topiary and then over here we have a little cow and a plant another canister with uh, some greenery and the lid next to it the Toscano platter with the lemons and fruit on it with a pear and then over here over here sorry we have the biscotti um then we've got the vintage canister with some greenery and then we've got a little cow and some flowers spring flowers so i love it i love it i'm going to take the camera down and give you a once over close up so this is what it looks like with the doors closed on the middle section, but let's open them. And up top, so cute for spring. Got the tobacco basket and all of that. I think that looks really cute. And over here, and then over here, So there you have it, my hut decorated for spring in Tuscan farmhouse in French country. Yes, you can merge all three together and it works. I think it works beautifully, beautifully. And wanna see the top? I've got a little video I did this morning of, of it. I'm not done, but I just wanna show you what I have so far. Sneak peek, sneak peek, and then I'll show you the rest of the video and I'll decorate this next week and we'll revisit it. But uh, there you have it. Spring is in the air, everybody. I hope you guys have a great weekend. 
I love you and thank you guys for your sweet, sweet comments. It means so much to me. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Mwah! Okay, before I go, I'm gonna set some of my pictures of the hutch uh, to music. And then at the very end, wait for it because I'm gonna show you what I did up top. Um, it was just a little snippet of what I did this morning. It will be really quick, so stay tuned. So, the, I'm thinking of putting this farmhouse sign up there above the hutch if it fits. Reason being, it matches these chairs. I like how the stripe in that matches the stripe on this chair. So, I think it would look really cute together. Okay guys, I'm not liking the greenery. I actually had it centered on the hutch, but it was so poofy in the middle, it was covering up the, uh, the house part of the farmhouse sign. So, I think I'm gonna scrap that idea. Although I do like it, it, it did look pretty centered on the hutch. But like I said, it covered up that sign. So, plan B. Okay guys, what I've decided to do now, since the greenery didn't work out, is I've decided to put a lantern, my new lantern up there from Real Deals. And I think I'm gonna put a smaller lantern on the other side, possibly add a, a taller candlestick behind it to add symmetry and um, some height, and then maybe add some greenery that kind of cascades off the side there. So we shall see. So I wanna group odd numbers. One thing over here and possibly three over here. And uh, we'll see how this turns out. Stay tuned. All right, guys, remember how I said that side of the, uh, the front door of the uh, of the lantern was had a crack or something in it? I've decided to open it and leave it ajar, and then I'm going to decorate the inside of it. I just think it adds a little bit of character, and um, I'm going to put that candle you see behind there on a book box to add some height, and then add this garden ball. Let's see how this plays out. Okay guys, I'm up on my ladder, and I just wanted to kind of show you what I'm doing. Book boxes, I you can you used to be able to get these at Ross all day long for like $4.99, $3.99, $6.99. So back in the day, I stocked up because they're just awesome to use in your decorating when you want to add various heights, you know, to give things interest. So as you can see over here, this lantern is taller. And then over here, this one is a lot shorter. So, you know, I, I'm I'm like always about symmetry and it, it'll drive me nuts if there was this big bare spot here that didn't um, mimic, you know, the other side. So this is how I kind of make it look more symmetrical. So I put this kind of catty corner, turned it as much as I could. That's pretty, as, pretty far as it'll turn a uh, catty corner. And uh, then I added my book box, the candle. And I'm gonna put my garden ball up here if I can reach. Oops, let's turn this. There we go. Anyway, so this is what I have so far. So when I, so when I stand back and I look at this, I'm liking it. I'm liking it. So the fun part is figuring out what I want to put inside the lanterns to have it go with my hutch. So, but um, I think adding that candle holder with the garden ball kind of added, filled in that, you know, bare spot on the back that would have driven me nuts. So that works, but I want to add some greenery. So, um, well, you'll see, it, it's just going to look a lot better once I get going and figure out what I want to do. Okay guys, you're gonna probably laugh at me, 
but I love adding lights, candles, all that to my displays. You know, on a, on a gloomy day like today, having a little glow inside the lantern just makes me happy. It does. It raises your spirits and um, I just like it. I love it. So I'm thinking I want to try this old little lamp I have. You can see it's like kind of worn apart from all of our moves. Who's going to notice though? I'm going to attempt to put this in the big lantern and decorate around that just to add a little bit of glow up there. I don't know if this will work, but let's, let's give it a try. All right, guys, I have just added my little lamp to my lantern. It worked out better than I could have expected. I took it outside the, the cord outside the lantern. We'll go up there and I'll show you in just a second. And then I dropped it, got an extension cord, and now I'm about to plug it in. So I dropped the cord behind the hatch. No one even needs to know or see that cord up there. It's awesome. All right, let's go take a peek up, up there so you can see how I did this. Guys, seriously, how cute is this? Look at the, the light casts upward into the design of the lantern and does that not look cozy? That is gonna look adorable at night. I am so happy that this is working out. But see, look. So I just put my cord right there and it took it right out the side there. I'm still able to close the lantern, which is awesome. Voila. Mission accomplished. All right, guys, I'm going now. We will revisit the top of my hutch next week, but I am loving the lamp and I think it's the start of something great. It's gonna be cute. I just, I can feel it. So have a great weekend and I'll see you soon. Mwah.